who asked his trainer, hey, you're going to bring that kid that's tough to sparring? He says, which one? The one that's hard to deal with. So el duro means hard to deal with. Both respecting what the other brings to the table. The feints there from Gonzalez trying to flee, freeze Alcalá and then set up that overhand right. I was about to say, I'm loving these feints. You water. You have to just <laughs> continually be gotta changing. Channel Bruce Lee. Absolutely. Oh, man, the right hands that Chop Chop is landing. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Setting it, everything up with the jab and the feints. And just put all the setups. Oh, oh there it is beautiful. again. He just freezes Alcalá and then the way the right connects, it makes it so, like, visually, the judges just see how effective yes. it is. Very eye-catching, very obvious. Um, but with Gonzalez here tonight, you know, he's been doing such a good job at the out Ooh, from the outside. Right Alcalá's in trouble and down for the first time here in round three. It's going to be a long 30 seconds for Damian Alcalá. The former referee gets welcome with the right uppercut from Chop Chop Gonzalez, who's looking to chop, chop. I've seen Alcala get beat in fights. I've never seen him get beat like this. He is getting tattooed and hurt with these shots. Oh, that left uppercut now Ooh. from Chop Chop. And he chops down Alcala for the second time. And referee Rocky Burke calls off the fight. Let's take a look at this knockout. Yeah, this is that first knockdown here. Beautiful catch and shoot there. A little bit of roll and shoulder there. And then that, that right hand, man. Once, once Gonzalez was getting those feints going and landing those beautiful long right hands right on the chin of Alcala, Alcal he had no answer for them. And he was getting consistently hurt and broken down. I wasn't surprised that the stoppage came so quickly. Look at that. I mean, right on the point of the chin. You really can't land a right hand cleaner than that. And on the end of the punch, too, where you have the most power. And then right here at the end, the left hook down the middle, split cigar, uppercut, oh. uppercut. Yeah, I mean, there was no, there was nothing left for Alcala to do at that point. He was already hurt from the first knockdown, already hurt from those right hands. Then you're getting hit with left hooks like that. Everything so precise, right on the money, punishing punches back to back to back. And even a tough guy like Alcala, I mean, he had no answer tonight. I mean, you don't need CompuBox numbers to know how accurate and precise.